Ladies and gentlemen, I'm G. Willers. Welcome to Mario Kart Wii Psychological Triggers. Now, what are psychological triggers, you may ask? Well, these are for me, whenever I am practicing a shortcut, I am using specific landmarks, specific spots in each of these tracks, and for some reason, I just make the shortcuts more often than not when I'm using these landmarks. So, we're going to be testing out some expert shortcuts using psychological triggers. Alright, so we are on Mushroom Gorge for the first shortcut. Of course, as you may know, this is the Gap Shortcut. This is a pretty easy shortcut, but if you don't know what you're doing, listen carefully. You want to see this little hump in the road that I'm using for Funky Kong's vehicle right now, and you want to aim Funky Kong's head at the Goomba, release your mini turbo, and voila, spin drift jump, you are good to go. So now I'm going to do this in slow motion, just go back, do it a second time, just to show you guys what it's like to make this shortcut. If you guys are struggling with the Gap Jump, use these psychological triggers. There's this little hump, it's a little, it's visible, it's a little big hump in the grass uh, I don't know what else to call it and then you aim Funky Kong's head right for that Goomba the third Goomba the Goomba farthest to the left you do a mini turbo for about a second start a drift and then spin drift over the uh, over the gap and then you will be good to go that is Mushroom Gorge and those are some psychological tr logical triggers okay so here we are on Toad's factory so this is basically what you're gonna do this is the lake cut the water cut whatever you want to really call it it's a pretty easy shortcut what you really want to do is align Funky Kong to the middle of the right side of the road you can really just align him anywhere you want this is a very um, rangy shortcut whatever you want to call it so you just want to go off this boost panel and just drift to the right and use a mushroom before you go off the ramp and you shall be good to go I'm gonna go back there second lap and explain it in a little bit more detail so the psychological trigger that I like to use is the crane to the top you want to align the middle of Funky Kong's head to the crane on top. Obviously, when you are doing this mid-race, it's kind of hard to see the crane. But when you're stopping and aligning, that's basically the one you want to have your head closest to. Just, you know, tilt back when you go off the jump and use your mushroom before you go off the ramp. And you should be good to go. This is what it looks like non-stop when you're doing the Toad's Factory Lake jump. As you can see, I wasn't directly in the middle. But obviously, there's a lot of versatility that goes into the shortcut. I almost missed it. But hey, what you're going to do? So here we are on Dry Dry Ruins. This is the sand hop. I usually struggle with this one just a little bit, but you really want to get it off when you are going from the start. And you want to hit that little pouch of uh, sand there, and then you are good to go. Just that one pouch of sand. I'm going to show you again on the second lap right there. The little discoloration right there. And you just want to jump once again when you're on that pouch. Okay, so here's the Wario's Gold Mine glitch. There's really no psychological triggers for the second half, but what you want to do for this first half, if you want the respawn glitch, is you see those little four circles right where Funky Kong's back tire is. You want to put the back tire right behind those four uh, little circles in the road, aim Funky Kong's head just to the left of the last pole on the bridge, use your mushroom, jump to the left, and as you can see, the timing's a bit rough. But hey, what you're going to do? We're moving on to Mario Circuit. So what you really want to do here, this one's really tough, so if your pixel's off, just keep trying and trying again. What you're going to want to do is kind of align Funky Kong's head right there. Right to, a little bit to the as the slope starts to incline on that second to last branch. And then use your mushroom right as your back tire touches the little shadows. Wheelie, and you should be able to get the glitch. I tried this about 20 times or so before getting this live on film. So don't be discouraged if you don't get it the first like four or five times. It does take a lot of practice and the, it, there are pixels involved. Alright, so here we are on Coconut Mall. This is what you're going to want to do for the Coconut Mall glitch. As you can see, I have Daisy lining up to these little, this white line. I'm about to turn left with her and use the this white line that is on the rail and align her to about the white on the arrow, on the second arrow. And then I use my mushroom and I drift to, or I don't drift, and I turn a bit to the right. And boom, the glitch is made. And the rest of it is just knowing where you are going. I'm just kind of driving it around. And, you know, if you need to use the psychological triggers again it's not too hard just use the 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 white on the rail and you're good to go okay so here we are in koopa cape this is what i use to practice level two on troy's advanced challenge all the time as you can see there the, there's the little half circles on the crates you're just going to want to you know go up to about the fifth one the fifth line that splits between the fourth and the fifth half circle or half hexagon you want to say and you just want to start at a standstill mini turbo there align funky kong's head with koopa's face on the billboard from far far away just release a mini turbo tilt back a little bit and then once you go off the slope start a drift release it a little bit earlier before the jump and then boom you should get it most of the time Alright guys, Bowser's Castle, this is the easiest trick in the book. As you can see, you just want to line the second bolt from the ramp um, to the first bolt that's off the ramp, you know, right there and right there. And just, you know, you don't have to start a mini turbo if you want. You can just kind of like drive right into it. And once you have found the alignment, go, go into it and tilt your control stick to the bottom right. Use a mushroom if you have to, and you should be good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show it again. 
and uh, you know as you can see the second bolt from the ramp and the first bolt off the ramp just kind of once you get your alignment it's kind of tricky if you miss it once or twice don't feel discouraged just drive into it tilt uh, up and right once you go through the wall use a mushroom and you should be good to go here we are on bowser's castle 3 there are three shortcuts around this general vicinity of bowser's castle 3 the first one put your back tire right on the edge of the third row of the first block on the third row and um does you're gonna aim funky kong's head for the middle of the ramp just press a mushroom button and then you are good to go next shortcut we have here is the same ramp but just doing the shortcut shroomless so as you can see here i just kind of made the shortcut shroomless without explaining it so i'm going to explain it what you have to do you have to align the back tire of funky kong's tire back tire <laughs> the back of funky kong's tire to around the second block on the third row this exact block aim his head again for the middle of the block and you're good to go here we are with Daisy doing the ultra shortcut. This one's a bit tougher. You got around the back of the, her tire on the block on the fourth row, or the end of the block on the fourth row, or the beginning of the fifth row, and then you know just release the boost as you can see when her crown gets in between the top of the, the incline of the ledge and the slope when it starts to um, you know plateau. I'm gonna show it again here. Daisy's crown aligned with the tip of the ramp and you know just kind of tilt back and you should be good to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Peace Day Resistance. This is Maple Tree a glitch. I'm gonna teach you how to do this with psychological triggers. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn back from the starting line, go to this little light patch right in the uh, the last black area of the last shadow area of the lap, and you're gonna aim Funky Kong side directly to the left of the bush. Uh, you're gonna tilt right once you're in the air, and you should be able to make it uh, drive all the way up to the bush until Funky Kong's head hit the crossroads of the of that bush do a standstill mini turbo until he is parallel with that tree branch and then you're gonna start another standstill mini turbo use your mushroom really white right away and then you're gonna use another mushroom and tilt back right before you hit the second wall and you should be able to clear through that first key checkpoint make it on the land go through the cannon and get ready to do the third part of the maple tree glitch so what you're gonna do you can uh just break through that leaf pile if you want to but then there right there it is right there the magic red leaf start a standstill mini turbo right around that magic red leaf and aim funky kong's uh, head right in between the black and the white of the left of that little root there whatever you want to call it the um, I don't know what it's called, but anyways, you just made the maple tree wigglish. Now you just gotta finish the lap, and you are all set, good to go. It did take me quite a bit to make it, because that third part kept messing me up, but that is basically the strats you want to go to aim Funky Kong's head for the center of that black and white, you know, discoloration in the little area of that third part, and boom, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. That is some psychological triggers. You can't really use psychological triggers for everything, because, uh, you know, when you have to go into some things non-stop, it just won't help. But those are some shortcuts that you can use psychological tr triggers on. Thank you guys very much. I'm Jewelers, signing out.